Auburn finally fired their head coach. I mean, that's the best thing they did all season. But what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Bat, with another video, man. And today, we are talking about how Auburn finally, I mean, finally fired their head coach. But before we get into this video, if y'all can leave a like, comment, and subscribe for me, man. It's free. It only takes like 30 seconds. And we so close to 2K. I'm trying to keep on growing and growing. I mean, I mean, I'm trying to have a big, big sports community and just be able to talk to y'all and just talk about games, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it helps me out a lot. It helps me keep on going, keeps me motivated. But yeah, y'all don't have to, but if y'all do, it's free and I really appreciate it. But let me stop all this talking and let's just get right into it. So if y'all haven't heard the news, which I'll probably have, Brian Harson, Auburn's head coach, finally got fired. I mean, everybody knew this was coming, but they said he was definitely going to get fired like at the end of the season. But I guess they just thought they should just fire him right now because if they keep him, nothing's going to go good for him. Which I believe that is true because Brian Harson was not a good coach, to be honest. I mean, this is their first step of being a better team. Now they just got to get a good coach. I mean, don't get me wrong. Brian Harson isn't that bad of a coach. I just feel like he'll do better in like ACC or Big Ten or something like that. But in the SEC, that's the best conference and it's and it's definitely the toughest. I mean, just as Jimbo Fisher, I mean, he has all the five-star recruits that you can have, and he's probably not even going to make a bowl game. I'm not even going to get started on talking about Jimbo Fisher, but happy late Halloween, y'all boys. But, oh, yeah, speaking about Halloween, to make it even worse, Auburn's head coach actually got fired on Halloween also. Which I don't know if this is true, but I saw this tweet on Twitter. It said Alabama's offensive coordinator, Bill O'Brien is in line to become the 28th head coach of Auburn Tigers. Now, if this is true, that's crazy because I do not see him leaving Alabama to go to Auburn to be their head coach, which I do see where he's coming from. I mean, he's an offensive coordinator at Alabama, and then he gets a chance to go to Auburn and become his own head coach. I mean, them two, them two jobs right there are way different. But let me know in the comments on what y'all think about Bill O'Brien going to Auburn and becoming a head coach. I think he'll be a good fit there, but y'all boys let me know. But like I said, I saw that tweet on Twitter, so I do not know if it's real or fake. Because you know sometimes them boys be lying on that. Which I don't know if Brian Harson is winning or losing right now. I know he just got fired. But if y'all didn't know if like a team fires a coach before their contract ends, they have to owe him money. And I'm not talking about no little money, man. I'm talking about millions. As y'all see right here, he, the, Auburn owes him $15 million dollars. And, and like which is due in like literally 30 days. If I was Auburn's head coach, I don't know if I would be sad right now to be honest because he's literally have he's literally gonna get 15 million dollars. Which if Brian Harson didn't want to coach college football anymore, he don't even have to. I mean, he's literally set for life. He's a multi-millionaire. So he, he can literally quit and just chill for the rest of his life if he wanted to. Which I don't think he's done coaching just yet. I feel like he's, he'll go to like a littler school, maybe in the ACC or somewhere around there. I'm going to say it one more time. Coaching in the SEC is way different than any other conference. SEC is the best conference by far. I mean, they have way too much talent over there. And don't get me wrong, I feel like he's gonna be a good coach if he goes to like a littler school, but the SEC is just not for him. But he did have a terrible, terrible season. I mean, you probably could have put anybody there like me or any of y'all, and y'all probably could have done better than he did. I mean, I can't even think of one good thing he brought to this team. I mean, and he suspended all of them players because they wanted a red shirt and he didn't let them. My bad, he didn't suspend the players. He made it even worse, and he told him to enter the transfer portal or quit the team, which I don't blame him. If I was a player and I wanted to get a red shirt year in and the coach didn't let me, I probably would have done the same thing and left, which I don't even know who would want to go to that school when Brian Harson was there. I mean, I couldn't think of if I was a four-star, five-star commit, I would definitely not want to go there. 
But now that they got a new coach, hopefully he can bring some good recruits in and start getting the team back where they was. Which, now I did see this tweet on Twitter. It basically said that Auburn's head coach was one of the worst head coaching hires in the history of college football. Which I feel like that's kind of true to be honest with you. I can't think of all the coaches off my head. And he's probably, or not the top coaches, the worst coaches ever at Auburn. I mean, only coach I really remember is like, I think his name was Gus Malzahn or something. I mean, he was pretty decent at Auburn, but he he's definitely top three that I can think of. Which if I was a coach and somebody said that about me, I would definitely never coach ever again. But I'm finna start wrapping everything up right here, y'all boys. I know it's a short video, but I hope y'all boys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for me. Like I said, it's free and it really helps me out a lot. But amen, be ready for the video tomorrow and I'm out. Peace.